Here we go. Okay. Um. Build the hat. I could try to build the hat, but I don't think we're going to finish it. If we start, I don't think we're going to finish it. Here, I'll take it out and show you guys. Here we go. Unless we go long on the podcast, I don't think we can finish it. Here's the instructions. Okay. What's going on, Jay? This is going to watch one, some One Piece. Go ahead. Enjoy. Look at this. A bunch of screws, washers, and a little screwdriver. There's the drink tube. Here's all the plastic accessories I need to attach with the screws. <laughs> and here's the hat. The helmet, I guess. With the valve that you put onto the tube, I guess. Uh... It doesn't look like a football helmet because it doesn't have anything on it. I have to attach everything manually, you see. <laughs> oh. Step one, attach the two beer holders on the sides of the helmet. Snap into place and secure with stud snaps. There's nothing to snap. Like, so here's the beer holders, okay? They're basically completely identical. There's nothing different from them. They look exactly the same, okay, the beer holders. Yeah, there's no difference between them. And it says snap into place. There's literally nothing to snap. Like, all you do is you take the screws and you put them through these holes, I guess. And you just screw it in. Like, there's nothing to... It's a snap into place. There's no one... There's nothing to snap. It's smooth. So the instructions don't even make sense because there's nothing to snap at all. Um... Let me, let me see here. Now that's a small screwdriver. Very small. So you got... All the screws are the same. They're all the same size. They're all tiny little screws. And you have a screw and a washer that you put on the other side. There's the tiny, tiny washer. Can you even see it? It's insanely small. So basically, you take this, you put it on the helmet into the, the lineup here where you line up the screw holes. And you take your screw and you put it through a screw hole. And then you shove it into the hole here. And then you just put the, the washer on the other side to tighten it. I don't even know what the screwdriver's for. You're just putting screws through holes. Like, I don't even, I honestly don't even know what the screwdriver's for. Nor do I know how I'm even going to line these up and screw them because it's so small. It's like so ridiculously tiny that I don't even know how I'm going to have my hands do this. Like, you need someone with tiny hands to do this because the little pieces are so small. I don't even know how to line them up properly. I'm, Derek, I'm reading the instructions. This is all it says to do. It says, yeah, just take the beer cozies and attach them with the screws. That's all it says. This is the worst instructions you've ever seen. I can't even hold the little... I seriously can't even hold the little washer in my hand. I'm losing grip of it. In fact, before I can do this... Here's the screw and here's the washer. How the hell? Okay. At least I have them in the correct direction. I make sure they're in the correct screwing direction or else you're not going to get it on. Okay. So it's that way and that way. All right. Well, I just dropped it. I just dropped the screw. Uh, okay, I found it. <laughs> The screw is so tiny. I know it's not a washer. What's it called? A nut? It's called a nut, right? Essentially, this would be the bolt, and that would be the nut. Which is much hilarious to even a screwdriver. It's not even a screw. Why do I have a screwdriver when it's not a screw? It doesn't even make sense. Yeah, it looks like you need absolutely tiny, tiny hands to do this. Look at me. Itty bitty hands. To put this thing together. It's weird, in my opinion. I'll try. Do you really think my wife wants to sit around building this fucking helmet? Are you serious? You think she's going to shit? She's going to do everything to do with her time to do this stupid helmet. <laughs> really? Anyway, I got the first, I got the first nut in there. I did. I got the first nut. So now. I guess what I would do is try to... Oh, by the way, it's impossible to use the screwdriver. Take a look at this. Wow, this is genius. So they want you to tighten that. How do you tighten it when the screwdriver's taller than the fucking screw? The thing, look. Oh, yeah, I can really reach that. <laughs> Who's fucking idiots? That's just genius level right there. The screwdriver's way taller than the thing you're supposed to put it in, so you can't tighten it. Genius. Anyway, I got one in. I gotta do this one. This one will be harder, I feel. Oh, where's the screwdriver? Do it from the other side. How? How do you do it from the other side? What are you even talking about?
Okay, that's how it goes in there. Here we go. I was looking for a completely baseball helmet. I don't think it's really a helmet at all. I think it's a piece of plastic junk, you know. <laughs> I really don't think you could have that much thought into it, just being honest here. Okay, here we go. This one you can tighten. That screw you can definitely tighten. Because that screw is exposed. So you can tighten. How am I supposed to tighten this screw? It's fucking covered by the plastic. Like, that's the most dumb thing I've ever seen. I think I'm a moron. Because you can tighten that. And by the way, it kind of should be called out. Take a look at this. Take a look at this beer pills. You ready? How does this keep my beer flat exactly? It's angled. This is gonna be a hell of a thing. This thing is going to be uh, pretty bad, I feel. Anyway, well, let's continue on the other side. Let's do both of these and, and go from there. Then we gotta put the bar on the front, I think. I think this is gonna be a pretty good thing. 40 bucks, by the way. It was 30-something change plus tax. So it was $40 for this tax. $40 for this thing. Yikes. This is classic atrocity. Okay, there it is. Duh! He has to even use to assemble it to rip off. Correct. <laughs> That's correct. Yeah. Okay, that one got right away, easily. The top, anyway. Now I do the bottom part, see? My fingers are gonna be in pain from doing this. Cause I'm using hand and you're twisting onto my freaking fingers and bolts or whatever. Okay. We've been putting the screws in backwards. Now we're gonna do this. Yeah, actually the instructions don't say anything about any direction whatsoever. They don't even call them out. Nope. They don't. They don't call any direction at all. But you're saying it makes no sense because this screw has to go in this way. Because I hold it in the plastic properly, it has to go from the outside in the other way. This this nut would fit. So I am doing the correct direction. It, it wouldn't even fit the other direction. So. Okay. Continue on. Wait a minute. Okay. Where's the hole? Where's the hole? A ski wizard helmet? I'll just on a regular helmet. I don't know anything about a ski helmet. Can the beer have used as part of the hat rotation? Well, technically, it looks like a football helmet. But I think what it is, it actually kind of blocks your hearing, because there's foam on the inside. I think it kind of blocks your hearing when you wear it. Okay. I don't know if I want to do that during gameplay and stuff. So this one I can tighten again. I can only one of the two screws. There's only one really exposed well enough to tighten. Okay. All right, so there's the two, uh, there's the two beer caddy things on the hat. See that? Okay, that was step one. Step two is, take your long tube. This bag is not a toy. It's good enough. It would be a very fun play. Put the logo on the back. It says, drinks well with others' branded collection. Whatever that means. Probably some company that needs it. Show signs of the Super Jacks. Build a hat and you will come. There you go. So we got multiple tubes. We've got a longer tube and two shorter tubes. It just puts the long tube to the hole in the top of the helmet. That's the stopper valve to the end of the long tube. So push the long tube to the top of the helmet. Okay. Right. There it is. Push, attach the stopper valve to the tube. The stopper valve. That's this. This is the stopper valve, this thing. But where do I put the stopper valve? What? This is so weird. Okay. The stopper valve goes on the inside, because this tube is going to go on the back of my fucking head, I guess, or on the side of my head, and the, the lid is going to come out of my mouth like this. Hold on. The lid is going to come out of my mouth like this, through the, through the helmet. This is so weird. Well, stopper valve indeed. It doesn't- Stopper valve? How could that stop anything? It doesn't even fit, look! It's too loose, baby. Okay, hold on. It's supposed to be like this. That doesn't stop it at all. It literally doesn't fit the tube. The stopper valve is bigger than the tube, and cannot stop any liquid from coming through the tube. Look. <laughs> the tube is wider than the valve. Or the, the, the valve is wider than the tube, there's no way it would ever stop liquid with this thing. It's a complete waste of- oh, it's a piece of shit. Yeah. It's definitely a piece of shit. There's no way that would stop liquid from going through it at all, in any way, shape, or form. That's complete nonsense. So that's just gonna go absolutely everywhere. <laughs> that's gonna literally go everywhere. Wow. I, what I might have to do is get like a clothespin or something, to, to, instead of the stopper valve that's not gonna stop liquid. I might have to get like a clothespin or something like a bag clip and put it on the end to stop the loop from coming through. Because there's no way that's gonna, that's gonna work. Not possible. Anyway, so let's go back to what we're doing. I'm gonna do some tips, please bear with me while I keep working on this thing. So it says now there's a T stopper, okay, that I'm supposed to put at the top of the helmet. Please, the T fitting at the end of the tube is coming at the top of the helmet. Pull along to the inside until the T fitting is perfectly inserted. The T fitting. This thing's gonna fucking leak everywhere. Here we go. The T fitting. Well, the T fitting does feel like it fits too proper. And we're all the way in. Okay. Then push the short tubes into the side of the T fitting. There it is, the T-Monster, the T-2 Monster. See that? Okay, Fa by the way, they can't even count. There's a step three, a step four, and there's a second step four. They, they counted four twice because they're so stupid. Place the face guard piece in front of the helmet secure with the stud snaps. The stud snaps. They think they think that screwing is snapping for some reason. I don't understand why they think that screwing is snapping. It is not, but they think it is. So now the remaining four screws, I put two on the front and one on each side to secure this thing in place. It looks like a football helmet. You see? Stud snaps. <laughs> they're, they're not stud snaps. They're, bol they're bolts, nuts and bolts. How do you think this is a stud snap? They don't even know what that means. I don't think they do. <clears throat> Anyway, they gave one extra screw, but no extra nuts. So if you lose a nut, you can't build this thing. You're completely boned. Interesting. Interesting. Mm. All right, here we go. And then 
Want to hear? Don't get boned. Don't get boned. Whatever you do, don't get boned. Trust me. <laughs> okay. You guys have a quarterback now. Oh, apparently. If you only get two nuts in life, there's always going to get screwed more often, says she. <laughs> wow. <clears throat> So there you go, and then, so that's that, I gotta do one to the side, and then with that, I can them all. Although, I'm high-tighten it, because, okay, I see. I'm doing one to the sides. Then I gotta use a screwdriver. Don't get boned with no nuts. Wow. I feel like all the instructions to build things is there. When I was a kid, you know, I kind of enjoyed it. I always like doing it right. Like, Lego instructions would always seem like some of the critics I couldn't understand. One that is this model with my dad, this Venom model. That was crazy detailed. And I really liked the model. But even then, we could, like, I swear to the stuff didn't make sense. We kind of had to wing it. Well, we got it done. Shit. I remember, it's my last nut. If I lose this nut, then I can't build the helmet, okay? All right, so now what I need to do is tighten all these screws with this little screwdriver that they gave me. All right, that's one. Oh, it hurts. That's two. This is all you have to do this with your hands. Destroy your hands. Destroy your fingers doing this. All right, so. The weird thing is, there's a zip tie. And nowhere in the instructions does it explain where you use the zip tie. I went through all the instructions. There's nowhere does it say where you use this zip tie. They give it to you, but it doesn't do anything, apparently. You see, there it is. You see in the bag? There's nothing in the instructions about using it. So what you're supposed to do, that goes in there like that, okay? Your straws go to the top of the cans like this. Okay? And then you put the helmet on like this. Okay? And then you take the straws behind your head and you put it in your mouth and you drink like this. This was not worth $40. I feel like I might have gotten ripped off somewhere along the process of this getting this helmet. I don't know about you guys, but I kind of feel like maybe this was a scam, a scam of some sort. What do you guys think? <laughs> and I think maybe I've been bamboozled a little bit with this helmet. <laughs> I'm now ready to drink. Are you guys ready to see me drink on Saturday? Are you excited? <laughs> Zip tie tube that goes in the mouth into the face guard, so it doesn't spill. Is that what you're supposed to do? It doesn't show that. Uh, it literally doesn't show a tube at all. Like it shows it going down here on the box at the bottom. Yeah, there's nowhere here. Does it explain where you use the zip tie? It doesn't show it in any other part, right? I have no idea. What I'm supposed to do it. So zip tie is worthless. It doesn't do anything, right? Like I said, there's absolutely no way this valve will do anything. The valve isn't small enough to stop like liquid flow. So what I'm gonna do is either have something stick in here to stop it, or I'm gonna have to get like my own uh like a, like a, like a, clip, like a bag clip. I have bag clips downstairs. Then the bag clip and put it on there, and I'm ready to drink, remove the bag clip and suck. But also, I'm wondering how secure this thing is. Will this thing leak all over, right? Could it leak all over my head? It could, I think. And then I just have a beer all over my fucking head while I try to drink it, right? <laughs> this is very exciting. From now on, honestly, I think this has more of a use. If I just remove the drink coatings, it's just a football I'm not put on. It looks stupid, right? Here's the thing, though. So there's foam uh, near the ears, and foam, I think it's supposed to keep it like, too close to the bolts and it doesn't hurt your head, but it's fine. The problem is, it's, it's blocking my hearing. Like, I legitimately can't hear as well. I can't hear the echo wearing this thing. So if I'm playing a game, I won't be able to really hear the game. I'll just hear like echo. In, in this. $40 for this. 40 bucks. I paid for this helmet. $40. Is it even on straight? I guess not. It doesn't feel like on straight, right? Ah! Just scratch my forehead. I'm serious. The bolt just scratched my fucking forehead. When the, when the fucking thing moved. Ow! I hope it just cut me. Ah! That hurt. That legit hurt. Ow! <laughs> okay, anyway. I received a $4.20 tip. For Radical Jaws, I just got here. I'm sure trying to find today. I'm going to play and show you the stream. I don't know if you talked about it. What's your favorite game of the direct? Um, I don't really say I had a favorite game. I said, yeah, I talked about each game in detail. Favorite game? I don't know. Like, Pikmin is great. I haven't played Pikmin in so many years. I have to do one. So I'm kind of happy for Pikmin 4. Obviously, everyone cares about Zelda. No one wants to pay. Wait a minute. What the hell is this? What the hell is this? Look at this. What is this? This isn't even in, this isn't even in the instructions. I just found this piece on the floor. In Radical Jaws, this is it. Hold on a second. This literally is not in the instructions. What is this? Is this a guard? What the fuck? What is this? <laughs> it's from the inside. I guess. Where we go? What the fuck is this? I am really confused. Oh my god. I think this goes on the inside and it's a fitter for your head. To make it fit the actual size of your head, I think. I think it goes like this and goes on the inside and affixes to these notches on the inside of the helmet. It's a head reducer for people with small brains. It goes inside your rectum. That's, I don't think it goes inside your rectum. I'm pretty sure that's not true. It goes inside and it just helps you have a small head. So, yeah, we would usually put this on the inside like this. And it would sit on the inside. And it would be a spacer to sit on top of it. I see. That makes sense. If you're like, if you're like a kid wearing this, but you should never wear this. So, if you're a drinking age, you know, or you have a small head, yeah, this is a ring that position. So, it's sitting on top of your head, it's on your, your head, it's on here, like this inside, you see. And it gives you, so basically, like that. So, that's what you're feeling on your head is the plastic ring. As opposed to the helmet actually touching it, you see? Let me see if I can get this to fit. Not really. It doesn't seem to really fit the helmet. It's a junk, but it is. Great A junk. And by the way, it's made in China. I should just make that clear. Of course, it's made in China. So everything else we buy in the United States is made in China. Best to use this, you don't scratch it over the bolts. I mean, yeah, but it has to fit, and it doesn't seem to fit. I'm trying to get it to like, fit onto the, the knobs that are inside the helmet, and it doesn't even fit them right. I'm trying right now. It doesn't fit the right. I'm trying. I'm trying to get it to fit, but it won't sit, sit on them correctly. It just kind of like pops off. Oh my god, this thing is junk. People are just putting it in the wrong way. That's because they're morons. I don't listen to dumbasses. <laughs> I'm not listening to them at all. I'm not stupid. <clears throat> People also say I'm screwing the bolts wrong. This is incorrect. 
Okay. Oh. Let's try it now. Ready? Oh, the, uh, I got the... I have the tube on the wrong side. It should be going through the back, I think. Like this. Okay. So now, let's try it on again with the plastic on the inside. Ready? Well, it's, it is a little bit more comfortable, I would say. It actually is a little more comfortable with the plastic on the inside. Because now the plastic is keeping my head away, I think, from the bolts. And now all the pressure is on that plastic ring and not on the helmet. Which is weird, because why don't the instructions say to install the plastic ring? They don't. <laughs> they don't they act like it doesn't exist. So here it is. Yeah, and then I just basically need a stopper, a thing, a stopper or a clip to stop it from leaking. And I release when I want to drink. I suck. I did not stop, skip the instructions. I read them word by word. There were two step fours, and there was no step that explained the plastic ring. So the instructions are terrible. Yeah. All right. So this coming Saturday, watch me try this drink helmet and see how it works. I get the feeling it's going to be an atrocity. It's going to be a huge embarrassment for all of us. <laughs> okay. It should be great. If you zip tie the tube to the face mask, you don't need a clip. Liquid won't flow without suction. Why would I... But how do you zip tie it? If I zip tie it, I'll never get it off. What are you talking about? <laughs> I can just do this. You don't even need a zip tie. Look. I can just do this and then take it when I want and then put it back like that. You see? I don't even need a zip tie. Why? The valve? Look, the valve is is not good. Here's the valve. You see it, right? That's as, as much as you can close it. That's the limit of how much you can close the valve. That's not even enough to stop the drink, the tube. Watch. If you put it in here, no matter what you do, it's completely not stopping the drink at all. If you put it into the other end, the most it'll stop the drink is minimal. And you can still see right through its free flow. There's no way that valve fits it. It doesn't work at all. No, the foam is not removable. Likely, what I'm thinking is, this is supposed to clip onto the plastic. Like, like this. Right? So that's how you keep the valve on the helmet. You put it on a piece of plastic, and then you put the tube through there. Like this. And I'm drinking. Okay, I'm done drinking. And you tighten it off so it doesn't drip. Right? That's probably what you're supposed to do. But it's not going to work. There's no way that works. Because like I said, it doesn't actually tighten it enough to hold it. You see? Like. Alright, so that's our helmet. 40 bucks down the drain on that thing. <laughs> $40 spent on that helmet. So, uh, this Saturday, you want to see me try to use this thing, come on by. We'll see if it actually works. Okay? Woohoo. That was very exciting, building that thing. 